this lesson I'm going to teach you how to create dashboards. If you will look at my screen, you will see my home page. The home page is not a dashboard. The home page is a collection of components from the dashboard, some views, reports. The home page will include different types of report items from all over my CRM. If I will go to my analytics section, in my uh, system, the dashboards are named analytics. In yours, it might be analytics or dashboards, but both of them are identical. They are the same. And don't ask me why. I have no idea why Zo changed the name in some systems and some systems they didn't change. No idea. But anyway, if you go to the analytics section, you can see that you have on the left side different type of modules. And if uh, every module will have its own different snippets of reports, and each one of those will be a snippet of a report. If I will click on the lead analytics, you can see that I have a few components or snippets of information, and all of them are related to the lead system. If I will click on the opportunity, those will be the opportunity related components. If you like to add more components, you can click on add component on the top and you can do it based on charts, KPI, uh, lots of different items. So is really, uh, they're giving us lots of cool stuff that we can play with and you need to experiment with it. If we take as an example the chart, you can see that you can create your own chart or you can create it based on a report. I prefer to create charts from existing reports. I click on from reports. Let's assume that we like to have a, a component that is based on uh, the probability. So let's do a probability and we'll choose the report. I think I do have a probability report somewhere. Yes, and that will be fine. Once I click on add and reorder, you can see that it's being added on the bottom and I can also change its size if I want to. Now you are limited to how much you can resize. It's all based on the type of information and type of reporting. And you can see that I got a records count on the left side. So it's basically how many deals and on the bottom I can have the probability of each one of them. So I have one deal currently in the pipeline that has one uh, has 90% probability, two deals with 75% probability and so on. When you click on save, you can see that the dashboard is saved and the component is in place. If you like to create your own dashboard, you just need to click on create dashboard and let's call it uh, Lior's dashboard. I don't know if it will let me do this guy, but let's see. Yep, perfect. And now I can add different components. One of the coolest sections will be the pick from gallery. You have some gauges here and you have some meters and you have some components that can uh, compare this year or this month relatively to previous month. So they have cool stuff here. If I will click on leads this month, you can see that you have this small uh, percentage gauge on the right side and that will compare the duration. So you can see that I have the component name, let's say leads this month. And here I can have, if you want, uh, some kind of a KPI that is also working based on a related module. So that's also something that you can do. In my case, I want to have count off or if I want, I can also, also sum uh, different factors from the system. So you have lots of different abilities as you can see as, as out of the box function, functionality. I don't need to code anything. I just need to select. And that's, that's a beautiful piece that's all created. You can also create here a filter. Let's assume that I want to have all the leads that they have some kind of a lead source. So the lead source is not empty. 
and if you want of course you can add more and more different criteria. The duration will be uh, leads that were created this month and I can also compare it to previous period okay so it will take the previous period so if this is uh, this month it will take this month in the previous year and then it will compare them and it will show you how much uh, more leads or less leads you had this month compared to the previous time last year and then I will click on add and reorder and you can see that the information is here the reason that you don't have information here is because I don't have leads this month and I didn't have last month this is a development system but this is how you create those dashboards if you will go to the home page you can click for example here and you can see different types of uh, information that you can have on your dashboard if you click on customize, customize home page you can see that I have the org overview I can click on edit properties it can show you me the, the name of this uh, dashboard which roles can access it and if I like to provide some kind of a description now if you click on the customize you will be able to start add, remove and change those different reports so for example I can click here and I can click delete and then this report will be gone or I can add more components from my different dashboards so the dashboard that we created was Leo dashboard and I can click here on the plus button and then you can see that it will be added to the dashboard okay not a plus button sorry it was a checkbox you can also select different views from your system and you can have them in the system as you can see I am limited to 10 this is why I cannot do it but uh, just know that you can add also different kind of views and the views will be from the leads contacts accounts across the system so the main difference between the home page and the dashboards is that the home page will be a single place that will collect different components from the dashboard and the reports or the views while the dashboard will be a single place that you can see lots of different types of information from a single module okay that's the main difference between them um, I think we covered everything here that's it so Thank you very much for watching this session. If you liked it or you think that I gave you any kind of valuable information, thumbs up is always appreciated. If you have any comments or questions, shoot them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching this session. We'll see you in the next one.